Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's ya boy on the mic, T Nasty, aka T Sizzle. It's Turnip, and I've got some more games for you. Coming back with some random all versus Rizhalfa Wesper with, on my side, Captain Cutter. And we are playing a few games, two games actually today uh first one's on beasley's so starting off gonna get my um get my temple going get those brute chieftains out and start going along the map um yeah so welcome one and all we've got quite a wait what is this oh, what yes everybody turnip has a new addition to the family meet young turnip young kitty kitty mr kitty uh, name to be decided. He is my newest uh, family member. Uh, he's my firstborn. Well, not by me, but first, first uh, family member I'm welcoming into the Turnip household. Please welcome him, and I will definitely try to have him make an appearance on the channel. Uh, alrighty, back to the game. So, it is a Cutter Arby. No, hold on. Cutter Brute. No, yeah, I'm. I'm brain fart you know cutter arby versus brute arby this is a relatively even matchup on this map the map is very small so you can use your uh, leaders to get those hooks very early and then push on to do some aggression that's my plan anyways i used to play a lot of arbiter back in the day before i realized that he was inferior to the prophet. That's when I really stopped playing him. What shall I do? And now we're on to, uh, on yeah, better, bigger, bitter, better. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. To bigger and better things. Warehouse so uh, I got I got a lot of great feedback on my last video from you guys. Plenty of new people have been Local watching, units. which I I really do appreciate. Uh, I got a really good Going comment. Out that uh, made me think a little bit. I wanted to do some community uh, suggestions. If there's a type of video you would like to see, uh, be it a certain play style I do, maybe I do all hall or all factory kind of game and try to win based on those terms, like a challenge sort of thing. I'd love to see what gets voted up in the comments. So definitely leave your suggestions so Turnip can experiment and bring some new life into Halo Wars. I do enjoy playing the uh, standard games, but I'd like to see what would be what would be interested for everybody else. So I'm going to be pushing up on the other Arbiter here, try and do some early base aggression. Um, I noticed there is no temple yet, which was surprising. Local Very units. surprising. I'm assuming that he had down teched it at this Local point. He has a units. lot of jackals, which I've never actually seen before. So I assume that Warehouse he had built clear. his temple first, recycled it, and then built a barracks following it. But it appears that he simply has not built his temple yet, which is quite the interesting move. Uh, Cutter is pushing on to the, uh, the Cutter's expo ironically no that's not cutter anders oh my gosh i might have to start this thing over screw it we're rolling with it we're rolling baby roll the camera you guys are getting turn unedited live and uncut um straight raw straight up for y'all so i'm gonna rage run over here try to take out some of these jackals but they were gone and you'll notice too i did get the upgrades on my arbiter i'm planning on being arbiter heavy this game because we are double covey I don't see anything. Uh, I can't find Local the jackals units. anywhere. Uh, he still has units. not built a, a, a temple. I believe he was saving that spot for his temple once he had enough money. That's why he didn't build on that there. What is Local units. I'm going to send in some more suicide grunts to try and just strip this eco. Uh, and at the same time, Brute is doing his best on their hooks. Um, yeah. Send these grunts right into that unupgraded base to take some of the chunks out of that because they do so much damage when that base is not on Citadel. I can't remember what it's called. Keep? 
I think that's what this this base is called a key. And yeah, if you're playing Arbiter, you want to definitely attack building pads first and then focus your attention on the main and on the other warehouses. Just don't let them get buildings up that will slow them down and keep your lead ahead. Uh, right here, the jackals come in. I'm too quick, or I'm too slow rather. They try to do a D-bomb on me, a calculated uh, defense, but I'm going to slowly, slowly but surely walk on out of there and get my Arbiter back to safety. He did get a turret up, so that rush is pretty much dead. There's nothing I can do over there except uh, go and help Purple out. I am ready. My blade is ready. And I'm pinging him as well because we're both over here, so let's go and push up on the Anders. Now, on this map, if you're playing UNSC with this matchup, Flamers, you can see right there what happens to Flamers. So I would say Arbiter on the defense and then getting the uh, getting the Warthogs on offense as best you can to try and uh, to try and make these make these leaders recall. That is your key. You want to get them off of the base and uh, have the Arbiter do some defense. But we've got some Banshees coming through, and I'm also going to be pushing into Wraiths as well. So it's going to be tough for them to get out of the to to get out of this. They've got to pull something out of their something out of their magician's hat to make this work. Um, I've been experimenting with Wraiths lately. I've noticed that they're a little stronger than I remember. I I, I remember Wraiths being mostly useless, but uh, you'll see in these next few games, I use wraiths in my encounters, and they've been, hey, for the somewhat, I've, I, I have a decent amount of fun with them, so check it out and see what happens. I'm going to get shield first always, and then start double pumping those wraiths. On this map, you can easily do that if you have those warehouses. Blue's going to boost over, or purple's going to boost over. I'm going to get caught here. I did not expect him to just walk up casually on me with all those those shield and jackals and uh yeah arbiter dies i'm gonna re him immediately uh arbiter gets out over there shield gets up that's not good uh so blue what what blue should want to do in this circumstance is go straight into straight into vampires so that would be his best counter but he is very very much stripped right now so it's going to take him a long time to get there some of the strengths of Double Covey is the early aggression is so strong. Those Tech One, Tech One pushes are just—they're just very, very strong, very hard to deal with. Uh, you did help heavily invest into the into the Jackals, the Jackals. So not going to be doing not going to be doing too much with the infantry side. Our leaders are going to get sniped pretty bad. So I see that's what he was going for with that. However, the the mass banshees, he did a really good job with his banshee numbers. So he's just gonna fly around them and kite them. So it's not not very useful there. So banshees are very good with boost. The, they don't really have an answer to it in the Tech 1 era. You'll have to get some warthogs out. Warthogs are strong against the boost banshees. Uh, maybe some, you know, a good amount of gunner hogs will do well. I'm going to go and help. Uh, so I'm going to rage run through the middle here just to speed up the process and avoid all of these rebels if I can. Try not to take that much damage. So I'm going to get up here and get ready to drop these wraiths in. I just, I really like how much health the wraiths have and... They are, yeah, they're, the biggest thing is they're super hard to kill, and they do a lot of a lot of damage, plus the shields on the, on the wraiths as well. And you can just pull them back and micro them and recharge them. So wraiths are going through. This is not looking too well for him. He's going to just self-destruct that base, and that's going to be it for this one. They're going to uh, tap out, and we're going to go back to game number two. Which brings us to the frozen, the frozen terminal moraine. Don't play this map very often, which is nice. It's a little refreshing to see some of the strategies. We get double covey again, but this time I get the better leader. I get the profit. 
and I'm going to push out to claim some of these, uh, claim some of the resources here. <clears throat> also, a quick word from our sponsor, Dihydrogen Monoxide, fueling the world uh, since the dawn of time, hydrating all of us. Uh, make sure you uh, get yourself a nice supply of dihydrogen monoxide today. You can find it at your local store, uh, gas station, grocery, outlet. Uh, stay hydrate, hydrated, everyone. <sighs> There's a lot of hydration here on this map. It's covered in it. You can see frozen, uh, kind of like a frozen valley almost. Local unit. <laughs> So one minute is going to come, and if you know anything about this map, at one minute these bridges will turn on, and it is a rush to get across. Uh, Blue actually got his his side, so we're even split right now, uh, which is not good. We definitely should have wanted to have those. So what I'm doing right now, I, I was pinging purple to look at this pad. I was going to delete it for him, but he never ended up looking at my base. So, or my my pad rather so I am I just kind of kept it and I'm gonna go into uh, offense purple is pushing up on to the uh, the supply hook as well try to take that back from from uh, the other arbiter so profit is going balls deep into enemy territory to take out to do some early early aggression that's the really only way you can win these kinds of matchups unless you just get really lucky and the people aren't very good. But I knew that these players were, were definitely decent and could potentially win. So we had to uh, make some some rapid decisions. He is ready for the rush though. Turret coming up, uh, same strategy as last time. He's going haul and then just kind of producing a mass ton of jackals. Uh, he is switching up his strat as well. He's going for some work hogs. Look how much damage those jackals do. That's that is monstrous, monstrous amount of damage to that uh, unupgraded profit. And now I've got the upgrade of my profits, so I'm gonna just sit in the sweet spot of the base. The sweet spot is where the back turrets can't hit you, and simply just start doing some damage. I'm gonna queue up some honor guards and get my shield back up. Arbiter's gonna start helping me out. We've got some more jackals porting through here. Everybody's just running. It's pure chaos. D-bomb gets dropped. I don't know if that was necessary. However, they wanted to push up without the possibility of rage. So Arbiter is getting rammed, getting wrecked over there. He's going to get out. So we're going to save the Arbiter. I'm going to start kiting these units and just taking little shot, uh, pot shots at them while I'm uh, running away. Uh, not not running away. It's This is a tactical retreat. I would say that is definitely a tactical retreat. The Prophet never runs away. He just needs to get his shields back up. That's all. Arbor's making his way over to the bridge. I've got two honor guards out and nothing to do with them, so they're just going to sit on defense. I did build a turret. I built a turret because of the Warhogs, just in case we had some Warhogs coming over. I did not want my... Um, my buildings being destroyed when my profits away. Profit shield are back, so we're going back on the offensive, and I'm queuing up more factories. So we're going to get some more wraiths out onto the field to combat the warthogs and also the the jackals, because jackals are anti infantry, not anti wraith. What now? I go. What is for glory? Send the ghosts out to look for some crates. Always a good idea if you have them alive, just see see what you can find. A lot of times people leave crates or crates around. It's just uh, that's free money. And you can see I'm being attacked on my on my hook right now. There's a sniper squad slowly but surely gonna kill my uh, warehouse. What do you want? So I'm being very annoying with this, just keeping this down. Now I see the jackals coming in. I'm gonna Oh look at that. Look at that splash damage. That's really strong. Local units. Same thing with the jackals. Unupgraded, they are so, so flimsy with their tunics. Wearing those short sleeve shirts in this very harsh environment. They must have very thick fur or thick skin. Factory complete. 
So this double warehouse is going to allow me to safely pump these wraiths out again and get some more beams down and run away at the same time. He tried the pincer maneuver on me to come around one way and then have some jackals follow up the flank, but I outsmarted that and I got my ass out of there. But some more jackals are going to fall. That's about three, four hundred dollars worth of jackals, but there's so many jackals we need to uh, perform another tactical retreat while the wraith numbers are getting up. So sending my prophet uh, back, I've got the honor guards here, and I'm going to push up again uh, now that I have sh I Oh, I made a mistake. I did not buy shield yet. That's a no-no. Don't, don't watch me, kids. Make sure you get shields. It's, it's a very, very strong upgrade. Purple has reclaimed the hook and is going into Banshees again. Good, very strong combo. Now, you'll notice I'm not porting these wraiths through right away. That is on purpose. I am keeping them at home in case there is a push on my base because I don't have any I don't have any shield generator on my buildings. I don't want to get stripped. So I'm keeping these wraiths back on the defense for now, just in case uh, an, un an unexpected sneak attack rolls up and I need to defend. Ready. What is what? Local units. So coming back in here... Back for more. My See, the Arbiter is finally out, so he did get his temple up a little later in the game. Yes, it's, done. it's an interesting strategy building the temple at a later point. It, I, there, there might be some more implications for it. I've just not seen it used. I've never really seen it used, but it, it can be effective, I, I'd, I'd assume, if you do it right. So I did stop the shield. I've been lucky enough to keep this Arbiter's shield down for the majority of the game and just keep putting some pressure onto the base. More wraiths are coming through, so we're reaching a critical mass with the wraiths, and it's going to be difficult to stop any sort of hot drop onto this blue base here. So I've decided enough's enough. We're going to send in the troops. So we're going to port in some wraiths. Arbiter is going to try to rage them down, but he's going to spend a lot of money, and there's just so many wraiths with a lot of health that it's going to take him a while to kill those. So all the wraiths, all units are going through right now to help with this offensive push. Arbiter is going to fall, and green is still still away, massing troops in an unknown, unknown location. Forming everything through right now, so it's not looking too hot for them. Not looking too good. Um, honor guards are making, doing some work as well. Wraiths are very high numbers. Base is almost half health, but here comes the counterattack. They're going to push through with all of these jackals. I'm going to send the wraiths over to engage here and uh, just try to thin out some of these. We do have a shit ton of warthogs, which was planned for. We're going to get a freeze off on them. And he has Grenadier, it looks like, so he is definitely going for Goss. It might be a little too late for him, though, with all of these numbers here. He does get Goss researched, and he's going to start shooting at these wraiths. But this is when wraiths are effective. You can see that the Goss is uh, sl it's, it's just kind of slow, and it's slow to kill them, rather. What, slow to kill the wraiths. Not, not slow in general, but it takes a while for a, a group of hogs to kill one or two wraiths. Um, he definitely should have attacked a lot earlier, and he could have just done some harassment. So I'm going to switch now from the hogs over to the... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm switching from the uh, factory to the shield just in case there's a counter push, but the game is pretty much done now. We've got the base down. That was a quick little game or two I wanted to show you guys. Really appreciate y'all watching. Yeah, leave me some recommendations for any videos that you want to see, any ideas for content Halo Wars related. Thanks again for watching. I'm your boy Turnup, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.